The monkey toy experiment, conducted by researchers at several universities, sought to investigate whether sex differences in toy preferences observed in humans might have biological underpinnings. The study focused on rhesus monkeys, a species known for exhibiting similar play behaviors to humans. The researchers hypothesized that if monkeys, with their less complex social structures, showed similar toy preferences to humans, it would suggest a biological basis for these choices. The experiment aimed to isolate biological factors from cultural influences, providing valuable insights into the nature versus nurture debate. By observing the monkey's spontaneous toy selections in a controlled environment, the researchers hoped to shed light on the age-old question. Are we born with our preferences or are they learned? The results of the experiment proved both fascinating and illuminating, challenging our understanding of gender and play. To conduct the monkey toy experiment, researchers created a controlled environment that mimicked a play area for the monkeys. The monkeys were provided with a variety of toys, carefully chosen to represent different types of play. Some toys were considered masculine, such as trucks, cars and building blocks, appealing to traditionally male-associated activities like construction and transportation. Others were categorized as feminine, including dolls, stuffed animals and cooking utensils, reflecting nurturing and domestic roles often associated with females. The researchers also included gender-neutral toys like picture books and balls to observe if monkeys exhibited any inherent preferences beyond traditional gender stereotypes. This setup allowed the monkeys to freely interact with any toy they chose, providing valuable data on their natural inclinations. The results of the monkey toy experiment revealed intriguing patterns in the monkeys' toy choices. Male monkeys overwhelmingly gravitated towards the masculine toys, spending significantly more time manipulating the trucks, cars and building blocks. Female monkeys, on the other hand, showed a clear preference for the feminine toys, engaging in nurturing behaviors with the dolls and, interestingly, both male and female monkeys interacted with the gender-neutral toys equally, suggesting that their preferences were not simply a matter of familiarity or novelty. These findings, while surprising to some, provided compelling evidence that biological factors likely play a role in shaping toy preferences, even in the absence of cultural conditioning. The monkeys, in their natural, uninfluenced choices, echoed the patterns observed in human children, hinting at a deeper evolutionary explanation. Section 5 from The Savannah to the Toy Store Evolutionary Insights this section delves into the fascinating connections between our evolutionary past and the seemingly simple choices we make today, like picking out toys. The monkey toy experiment's findings raise intriguing questions about the evolutionary roots of toy preferences. By observing how monkeys interact with different objects, scientists can draw parallels to human behavior. Scientists theorize that these preferences may stem from the different roles males and females played in our evolutionary past. This theory suggests that our ancestors' survival strategies have left an imprint on our modern-day behaviors. Male primates, tasked with hunting and protecting the group, may have evolved spatial skills and an affinity for objects that mimic those activities, like cars and tools. These skills were crucial for survival and have been passed down through generations. Female primates, on the other hand, focused on nurturing and caring for their young, potentially explaining their attraction to dolls and other objects that facilitate nurturing play. This nurturing behavior was essential for the survival of their offspring. These ingrained preferences passed down through generations might manifest as the toy choices we observe in both monkeys and humans today. The similarities in behavior between species highlight the deep-rooted nature of these preferences. While cultural influences undoubtedly play a significant role, the monkey toy experiment suggests that our biology might lay the groundwork for these preferences. Understanding this interplay between biology and culture can provide deeper insights into human behavior. Section six, little humans, big questions, comparing monkeys and us. The monkey toy experiment's findings resonate strongly with observations of human children. Just like the monkeys, boys and girls often exhibit distinct toy preferences from a very young age. 
Boys on average gravitate towards toys that encourage active play, building and exploration such as trucks, construction sets and sports equipment. Girls, in contrast, often prefer dolls, play kitchens and art supplies, engaging in imaginative play that revolves around nurturing relationships and domesticity. While these are just general trends and individual preferences vary greatly, the parallels between monkeys and humans are striking. These similarities suggest that our biology might lay the foundation for these preferences, which are then shaped and influenced by the complex interplay of social, cultural and personal experiences. Section 7. Beyond Pink and Blue, Challenging Our Assumptions The monkey toy experiment challenges us to look beyond simplistic explanations of gender and play. By observing how monkeys who are not influenced by human societal norms interact with toys, researchers have gained valuable insights. These findings suggest that some preferences may be rooted in biology rather than solely shaped by social constructs. It suggests that our preferences are not merely social constructs, but rather a complex interplay of biology and environment. This interplay influences how children choose toys and engage in play, highlighting the importance of providing a variety of options. This understanding is crucial for fostering healthy child development. Recognizing the role of both biology and environment allows us to create supportive spaces where children can thrive, Instead of imposing rigid gender stereotypes, we should provide children with a diverse range of play experiences, allowing them to explore their interests and develop to their full potential. This approach encourages creativity and self-discovery. By recognizing the biological underpinnings of certain preferences, we can create environments that cater to children's natural inclinations while encouraging them to embrace the full spectrum of human experience. This balance is key to nurturing well-rounded individuals. We must move beyond limiting pink and blue boxes and embrace a world of possibilities where children are free to explore, discover and define themselves on their own terms. By doing so, we empower them to grow into confident and adaptable individuals, ready to face the complexities of the world. Section 8. The Nature of Nurture, a Complex Interplay the monkey toy experiment highlights the intricate dance between nature and nurture. While biology might provide the initial spark, our environment, upbringing and experiences fan the flames of who we become. Cultural norms, societal expectations and individual experiences all shape our preferences and behaviours. Parents, educators and society as a whole play a crucial role in creating environments that nurture children's diverse interests and talents. By understanding the interplay of biology and environment, we can provide children with the tools they need to thrive, regardless of gender. It is through this understanding that we can create a more inclusive and equitable world for all. Section 9. The Universe of Play A Never-Ending Exploration The Monkey Toy Experiment offers a glimpse into the fascinating world of animal behavior and its implications for understanding our own species. It reminds us that play is not frivolous but rather a fundamental aspect of development, exploration and learning. By studying the play behaviors of our primate cousins we gain valuable insights into the evolutionary roots of our own behavior and the complex interplay of biology and environment. The universe of play, much like the cosmos itself, is vast, mysterious and full of wonder waiting to be explored. 